Ahoy hoy, this is Jamie from randomiseuser.com. This video needs a little more intro than usual. This is a Savage Lands video that was originally going to be episode number 12, uh, but it's taken so long to film and so many game updates have come out since that it's now going to be something like episode 14. So there might be a bit of inconsistency or weirdness, but don't worry, at the end we will find what we're looking for. So um, sit back and enjoy the ride, and I'm going to hand you over now to me. Hello dearies, welcome to Savage Lands. Uh, continuing our let's play, this time what we're going to do is go and poke around in some ruins, um, like a big old fat Indiana Jones lumbering around breaking everything. Apparently in the ruins there are named mobs that occasionally spawn, there's some very rare mobs indeed, uh, more interesting than even the undead fury that tends to poke around half the time. It's a, they're kind of like a, a ghosts of people who fell in the fight against the dragon, who is not currently in at the moment, is fucked off to one of his other dragon towers. So apparently they drop good loot. Like, there's there's three of them. Um, I think, let's have a look. I've got a list. Uh, there's Lycor, Ragnok, and Dramar. It sounds a bit Star Trek Voyager, but I'm sure it'll turn out to be fine. Now, um, these there are about three or four different ruins on the island at the moment and they're all very spread out and difficult to find, so this might actually be an incredibly long episode, so I've got my beer and I've got my chocolate-covered pretzels for the lads. Um, hang on, which direction am I going? In? Okay, that's the tower, and I'm going to go northwest, where the, the, uh, where the first ruins I ever came across um, were directly lying in my path when I left Argo and headed towards what I now know to be Tillian, the, sm the Stone Forge Village, as I've named it. Right, just coming up on the ruins now. Um, this is continuing on to the northwest for just a you know just a very small walk. It's very near Camp Jamie. Um, well, I can't promise anything here. I hope, I'm hoping some some bugger might have spawned inside, but uh, we shall see. So far, I found a skull, a bone, and a frost fern. Oh, two frost fern. Yeah, no real sign of any. Oh, well, there's a yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never mind, matey. Worst things happen at sea. You could be dead and wet. Yeah, so there's nothing here, is there? Um, maybe just have to wait a bit of time. Ooh, that will make great content for the video. Woo! Savage Lands here, doing a Pink Floyd cover. I might actually set up a campfire here and wait out the baddie, and I can also be um, getting my meat on the go. Um, I don't have got much... Yes, I have. I've got them. Um, I've got all the major things. Been here for ages. There's another skeleton. Oh, he's got a club. Oh, maybe this is it. Oh, hello. All right. Oh, this that, that club's enormous. What if this, this might be the guy? This might be fucking whoever the hell this is. And he's dead. What's this? Rotted oak smasher. All right. Well, that looks quite powerful. Cool. Okay. Um, I don't know if that was one of the named mobs or not. Uh, it doesn't seem to be named. It's just a skeleton with a big stick. All right. Um, well, this leaves me in an awkward position, doesn't it? All right. I've come over to Befallen now. I've left the ruins behind and come to the um, the village at the northwest of the island. This is the skeletal sacrificial um, village. Ooh, look at him. What I'm going to do now is go find the ruins to the east, and because I'm not waiting around those old ruins anymore, I don't think there's going to be any new interesting spawns there. And frankly, um, I've asked around and I don't think that was one of the named mobs. It really was just a skeleton with a rare drop. So, from here, I've got to head kind of east-ish, but not quite. Let the big rocks be your guide. So I came quite a long way east, somewhere between the two towers in the north. Um, and I came ever so slightly south as well. And hey presto! New ruins! A quick poke around. See if anyone's home. Fortunately I've used up all my skeleton heads on a, a Pike of Resurrection en route because I got a little scared. So I might need to actually um, fight a few more skeletons before I actually set up camp here properly. Well I've got my skulls up and running and I'm, I'm halfway through building a house. I'm um, just trying to finish that off. Um, I've been making a lot of 
bloody axes and things off camera. It's been very exciting times. Um, I've been noticing there's a lot of things spawning around these ruins, more so than the last one. I was attacked by five wolves and three skeletons at one point. Uh, should have been recording that. <laughs> Oh, that was amazing scenes. Uh, finished them all off and got loads of good trove as a result. Here's a skeleton. Let's get let's get let's get busy with him. There we go. He's all he's darker than a normal skeleton, I think. That's all very strange. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to run around and trying to encourage things to spawn. So hopefully the rare spawn of or oh, whatever the hell he's called, Dramar, might actually make an appearance. And we can finish this video off. And because of, there's no way I'm trying to find all three of these fuckers. <laughs> yeah, so finding these ruins are hard enough. Um, the developers mentioned in a Twitch stream that there are also Easter eggs hidden in the sea. Apparently a long way from shore. If you just keep on going out, you'll eventually find them. Well, since I've already um, spent several years trying to find the bloody monolith, and also these bloody ruins, there's no way in hell I'm going to go and go out and try and find that. Because we'll be here until next year, I think. So, yeah, there's a chance these are the wrong ruins again for Matey Boy that I was trying to track down. But, yeah, there's some ruins way, f way much more to the north and slightly to the west. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my good stuff behind and just take a kind of basic kit with me. So if I do die, I can respawn here without much of a loss. But since it's getting towards the evening, I am taking a bit of a risk here. Right, so I'm going to go north. I'm just going to work out where the fuck north is now. Um, right. There it is! There's north. Well, I kind of... Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Shit! I've come to the wrong... I've, I've come to a village! Uh, which is the big stone village. Um, that uh, may or may not have a forge in it these days. I think it does... Yeah, there it is. I can... See it right there. Balls! Damn it! <laughs> this isn't this isn't the ruins. I can tell you that much. Delicious meat. Okay, maybe I should um maybe uh, I should actually stay the night here um, and strike off again in the morning then. So I'm still trying to find ruins. Um, I'm on the north coast, slightly to the east. I went north from the monolith all the way to the north, and then I struck out east along the coast. And look! Look at this bad boy. This is new. A little dragon statue on top of the rocks on the very northern easty type coast. Somewhere between the two northern villages, um, whose names escape me <laughs> for the moment. But look at it. Look how beautiful it is. Especially with the, um, the rising sun. I really, really have to find these ruins now. <laughs> It's been so long. It's actually um, the game's updated since the, <laughs> since I started doing this. Uh, I think this is um, this was start. I started to film this before episode twelve, and this is probably going to end up being episode thirteen or maybe fourteen. Who knows? I found them. Fucking found them. The northern ruins I've been trying to find for about five thousand hours. Right. So uh, to get here, I was kind of like under the impression that there were vaguely on a straight line between the two northern villages, but it turns out they were quite a bit way to the north. To find them. I started in the uh, the big stone village in the northeast and went basically northwest for a long time until I was very near the ocean and then I kind of gave up and went south and suddenly I was here. So I still have no real idea where we are. But these are the northern ruins where apparently um, sometimes one of the, uh, the bad guys definitely, definitely does spawn here. So now we play the waiting game. Also the, you know, also the Pike of Resurrection game. Quick. Quick, activate it! Activate it before you get bastarded! There we go! Right, bang, 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 and bang! Right, so I think I should kind of like do, do, do as I've been with the other ruins and just build up a great big shack um, to keep myself safe, because I need to set this up as a base whilst I wait out the evil spawning named mob. Okay, so literally about two weeks later... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um, so, I've been on quite a journey. There's been several game updates since I first started this bloody episode. Um, but I've been searching for them, for Lycor and his brethren, for so long now. And I'm going to try again now, because in the most recent update, update number six, um, they've apparently um, increased the spawn rate of um, these named mobs in the ruined areas. So hopefully... Where's my house gone?
Oh, it's over there, isn't it? <laughs> it's been so long. So hopefully we'll actually meet one of them and have discovered as well what they actually look like to some extent. And that's actually just kind of, I think at least one of them, or maybe all of them, just looks like a regular undead fury. So I might have already seen one and dismissed it already. Backwards and forwards. Backwards and forwards. Yep, so I left the, um, the northern ruins um, because they were proving terrible and I spent several days there. And nothing happened. So now I've come down here. And the cycle has begun all over again. Okay, um, several baddies have spawned now. And one of them, I think, is Lyco, because one of them has got a really big... There he is! Look at that! That's a huge sword. It's already killed me about three times. And back in the Central Eastern Ruins, I've been waiting all night. And finally, in the early morning, just as the sun comes up, three of them spawned at once, and one of them had the big sword! This is, that's definitely him. That is Lyco. Lyco, 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 Lyco. Um, it's... it's Fucking hell, it's been three weeks I've been filming this fucking episode, and he's finally shown his stupid fat face. Um, God damn it, die, just die. This is a really shitty stone sword I'm using at the moment. Come on. Oh, dicks. Come on. Look, I'm reduced to hitting him with a barbed bloody mace now. There he is. Die! Die! There he is! That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. That is it. The Golden Reaver. That is it. Lads, 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 lads. And it gives me an incredibly... Fuck off, skeletons. And it's just given me incredibly good armour as well. Now, I better actually loot my corpse. That's a really solid, meaty weapon. Look, he's, he went down in two. I better loot my corpse because I've got um, corpses all over the place trying to get the... Get my stuff. Okay, that's it. I've, um... Oh, hello. <laughs> I've done it. I've finally done it after a million... A million bloody episodes of... I'm trying to film this thing a million weeks, uh, and that's it. So I'm going to stop now and go to the bloody pub. <laughs> so that's um, that's the quick way um, of finding a named mob. Um, it's been quite a ride, but I think it was worth it. So I'll sign off by saying this is Jamie from Randomize User. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And thanks for watching, and goodbye.